Many entertainment venues have been shut down during the pandemic, such as movie theaters and theme parks. However, one place is still open for people looking to have a good time with friends and family. I'm Daniel Marroquin with Spectrum News One, and here in the Inland Empire, one place is still providing fun, social distance entertainment. Historic downtown Upland is known for its annual lemon festival, but a hop and a skip over the train tracks lies a hidden gem owned by George Garo, an immigrant from Argentina living the American dream. I was born in Argentina. My parents were born there too. We came here at a young age. Uh, we came here legally, but then we started the paperwork process and, and went through the whole shebang. And my goal is to make my parents, to make their move worth it. George moved to Upland with his wife in 2013. He fell in love with the city's view of the mountains, its hiking trails, its convenience of close freeways and downtown Upland's small mom and pop shops. However, he felt there was more potential for the downtown neighborhood that wasn't being fulfilled. So in 2018, he opened the Axe Lair, what he calls darts on steroids. So this is a location where people come and just try something different, something new, uh, relieve a little stress, hang out with friends, family. There's an assortment of games on the table and people come in, play various games and throw axes at wood. However, after 16 months of success, the COVID-19 pandemic forced George to shut down the Axe Layer for three months. Business isn't as busy as it used to be, understandably so, but we're doing what we have to do to have our guests feel comfortable, feel safe, and still have a great time. We're lucky enough to have a big warehouse, so we're able to space people out. An hour before we open up, one of our employees will come in and wipe everything down with, with a, a bleach water mixture. And we also have hand sanitizer, Lysol wipes, just to kind of keep our guests feeling safe. With the pandemic, it's flipped everyone's world upside down. So to still be able to give people a place where they could come relieve stress um, and, and be together, I think that's super important. That's what we need right now. But this is not just another hobby for George. It's a passion in his life so much that he used the axe layer for a gender reveal party. He and his wife are expecting another boy this January, with the same delivery date that was given to their three-year-old son, and he's hoping it hits right on target. 